<laughs> I'm not where I want to be But I'm in what was once a dream So if I do some quick math The future equals a dream come true Since 1992, In All Honesty, a podcast by Olive Orawo. Hello and welcome to another episode of the In All Honesty podcast. My fabulous name is Olive Orawo and we are recording this episode at the Trio Media Studios. It's in Lovington, Chandorana Building, Nairobi, Kenya. And I keep telling you, please come to this space. It's a very cozy space. The rates are very good to your pocket. In this economy, you need to be saving money. So yes, do come to Trio Media Studios and talk to the people here and you will love, love, love it, especially beginner podcasters. But today here on our podcast, I have another set of beautiful guests, of course. And I'm just so happy to have you guys. Today we are talking about mental, I didn't know how to title this episode, mm. but it's just around mental illness, wellness, disorders, health. I don't know, so but health. I just know it's mental yeah. Until, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so welcome so much. I'm meeting both of you today for the first time. Yay. But as you know, everyone who comes here is my bestie already. Right. Because they come and then I meet them. Right. But I'm giving you the chance to just introduce yourselves as you'd like to be known. Ivana. Okay, uh, my name is Ivana Waweru and I'm a counseling psychologist or therapist. And yes, I work with uh, children, teenagers and young people. And I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Ole. Thank you. Yeah. Young and Aisha are happy to know that that's well, yeah, it. So long fine. as you feel young, we can, I can oh, help you. Allah. All right. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Kaz. My name is Kazmo Makure. I'm a musician. I'm an educator. And uh, I want to be finance practitioner. I'm lying. I'm just, uh, I'm just a human being. I'm just... <laughs> You know the thing about like introducing introductions with like what we do for careers. Yeah. People usually like use that to see how they're gonna treat you or yeah. whatever. Oh, yeah. But that's why I say introduce yourselves as, as you would, do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. People like to know me as our Kili, and then I let them down, and uh, then they're just <laughs> oh. disappointed. I teach babies how to play piano. That's what I do for a oh. living. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know how to play piano. Oh. Really Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, or, uh, you know, <laughs> you know. Yes, absolutely. Hey, thank you so much. Thanks for I always, us. always appreciate when you come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But now today, the topic we're having, mental, let me just say mental wellness for health. now. And then... I think health is a more health is encompassing because it, it deals with wellness and illness and disorders and whatnot. Okay, yeah. so... Health, mental health. By the time we're done, I will have figured out the title for this <laughs> podcast. But usually I put out a prompt on my socials yeah. and ask people a question. And usually they just give me the answers. And that's what you use as now talking points. Yeah. And I'll just read some of them. Mm -hmm. If it brings something to mind, yeah. then we can get into that conversation. If it triggers something, tell us. Mm -hmm. And we just get to talk. So I'll start with the rather short ones. Um mm -hmm. The prompt I put out was, was, what are your thoughts and experiences with mental illness? Mm -hmm. And someone here said, it's real. It's easier if you put a name to it. So I don't know what exactly they meant, mm -hmm. but is it like if you, like, you don't know what it is, but if yeah, it's but alcoholism, we know. You know, yeah. yeah. And I think yeah, so, well. because for me, um, what my my thing has been like, is I just did not understand why in certain periods of the year I would just want to empty my bank account and buy a stupid thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I, every once in a while, I just go out on like a sexual rampage or like a, because I, you know me, I'm one of those two SDA boys. <laughs> so you can't drink alcohol, you don't eat pork, but you can fornicate. You can't fornicate. <laughs> I'm wrong, man. I'm wrong for this. This is this is not what that's that's not what it is. And I, you know, like those people. I have a pal who just said, "Mazi, me me ni kule pork." Hey, he hated me for Kate, man. But um, I just did not understand what 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 that was about. And then there's periods when I would go out and be a musician, a farmer, or whatever, whatever. And then there's months when I would just sleep through it. Mm -hmm. So up until I was, I was doing in town last year naked, 
Um, I just didn't know. And then when I was taken to hospital, they were like, oh, yeah, first of all, they thought I was on drugs or whatever. And then I went to hospital and yada, yada, yada. And then it was called bipolar. And then I started seeing the thing in mm. movies and whatnot. And they're like, these are some of what you can do. And I'm like, hey, I'm Gesema. <laughs> I feel like when it has a name, oh, yeah. well, it's not like more bearable. It's It kind of... It affirms your experience. It does. And it kind of makes it mm. easier for you to... To know how to deal. Because I just yeah. thought, hey, must, I'm erratic and everyone's going through this particular yeah. kind of thing. But you know, there's people who have like the bipolar, which is just heavy, depressive. Then they mm-hmm, don't go yeah. through at the maniac phase. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there's, I think f- from what that commenter okay. meant, yeah. when it has a name, when you know this is specifically what it is, you know how to deal with it. I I don't know. I would say in my, I don't know if, I don't know if that will fall under mental, mm-hmm. but the one thing that did that for me is yeah. I always thought I was broken when it comes to romantic relationships right. yeah. until this one time I was just watching something random on YouTube yeah. mm-hmm. and that person described themselves and I was like, oh, so I'm demisexual. Yes. Oh, and it's just, oh, then I'm not broken. Yeah. Yeah. It just helps. Yes, in that sense. it really does. Yeah. It okay. really does. I have a contrary opinion. Go for it. So I think that when you use a label to help you feel better about what you're going through, you're mm-hmm. forgetting the root cause or where it's coming from. Mm. Um, yeah. So for me, I, f- I feel like it's important to know where is this coming from, what triggered you to react the way you did, mm. and what are those triggers that make you go into quote unquote the uh, bipolar the, episode. episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What makes you end up like that? Because we're not always sick. Even yeah. if we're sick, mm-hmm. we're all sick somewhere and we all have some mental health issues to some degree. But what makes us sick? What makes us react? What makes us end up in that stage? Mm. Yeah, I think that's the most important to me when I'm dealing with anyone because I feel like, yeah, you could Labels, end up saying, oh, yeah. yeah, you know me, I'm depressed. And that thing annoys me <laughs> a lot. Oh, me, I'm depressed. Oh, the owning you know, up of labels. Yeah, it becomes an excuse mm-hmm. yeah. more than something that makes you feel better or helps you become better. Okay, yeah. that's that's interesting because if I were just to pivot off of um, yeah. what Ivana said, mm-hmm. um, I feel like you could categorize, you could know when roughly when someone was born mm-hmm. by the mental illness they claim. <laughs> like if the uko born before ninety, <laughs> those guys claim OCD, or you know, or if the nineties ninety ninety one tops, yeah. those guys claim OCD, yeah. and then millennials, we have like. Millennials have depression, <laughs> and then Gen Z guys is ADHD, oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, and anxiety and whatnot. But um, so I, I totally get where you're you're coming from with that. That's true. Um, while also, you know, there's the the urge to be different. Yeah. And and mm. you see, for uh, am I allowed to say this? But for white people, it's <laughs> autism. <laughs> A lot of white people want to kind of be on the spectrum somehow. Yeah. And and it usually feels like because we cannot add like medical doctor or lawyer or esquire, whatever it is, titled to our profiles and whatnot, we have to claim something that's that makes us different. Yeah. And okay. and that's where I think you're coming from with that because um when I was talking about like knowing that kind of helps you, I thought like it it kind of it does not make it better. Yeah. It just helps you deal. But it's yeah. not that thing for... Because yeah. we want to be different. You know, yeah. Olive already does not need to claim a mental illness. Yeah. Well, she might have it. Her yeah. influence overshadows whatever it is. <laughs> so you have the luxury of... Because oh, you're famous already. Yeah. You have the luxury of... You, you don't have to like uh, claim a mental illness. It's it's harder than a person who's struggling so to be different. So I to get like more clout. Like when the way. numbers are going which down. Is, yeah. Which is fine. And why, why why are we obsessed with it? Like, cause, let me tell you. Nowadays so, I can't... Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I, I feel like... <laughs> we can't claim and you're ashamed that I was associated with, with like any mental illnesses because I'm like you you want to release a video for a song and so why are you why are you using Denise's <laughs> dream like know? like suicide that and whatnot so you know yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. sorry Ivan I, I think I cut you short no 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 I was asking something yeah. like so you're saying that people seek relevance by saying they have a mental health issue. yes but also they do not claim the really serious ones they claim the ones that have low accountability because yes. yes. you know um, what I learned about ADHD it's not fun it's not just no. at me saying mm-hmm. three four five stories at the same time mm. it's i literally cannot put my phone down without losing it mm. so i will have my watch and i'm always saying hey siri where's my iphone um because i just don't remember i don't know where i left my keys mm. um like this mm. one time you have left my car keys where i don't remember for the life of me mm. i know it's somewhere in my house like the way my house is set up it's easy f- as a musician but for a very long time when i used to have roommates they would 
I would really fight with them because they're clean freaks. Mm. They believe everything needs to go into a what, 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 what. But mm. for me, the way my mind map works is you could find that because I'm, I'm a musician, like yeah. a sheet music that has 17 pages. There's 11, there's like seven pages here. There's three pages here. There's what, da, 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 da. So I see it the way I walk and whatnot. But your mind knows. It kind of knows. Yeah. And so when I hear people talk about ADHD as if it's just, oh, you not being able to that focus, it it cripples your life like quite literally yeah. i don't remember anybody i've never met a person who was super excited I'm like oh yeah, yeah man it's a bipolar yeah. it's a depression mm -hmm. nobody likes it no. it's not cool no. but so when you take um the low i feel like low accountability on like it's very easy to pass off as depressed so yeah. i could just be an introvert <laughs> <laughs> I could just, I could, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I could just, I could just keep quiet. And then people would just be like, oh yeah, yeah. oh, she's, she's depressed. depressed, you know, like yeah. th that kind of thing. That's true. Or oh, you're just sad. Hey, it's just a bad day. It, is a ba it could you're be a bad depressed. week, could be a bad it's month. It's a bad day. Yeah. 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 But it does and it cripples, mm. like for anyone I know, it cripples them kabisa, kabisa. Mm. It, it, as long as it does not alter normal daily functionality i doubt you have the illness have, yeah. Yeah. it has to yes. alter your daily functionality like yeah. to a great degree mm -hmm. yeah and also let's talk about not diagnosing yourself mm -hmm. not saying that you are you have adhd just because you feel like you have so much energy <laughs> wait to go to the doctor wait yeah interesting you come in guns blazing <laughs> But, but you know, like that's hella interesting because in the age of social yeah. media, um, we we always kind of have the, I feel like the way we used to process information, Kitambo, mm -hmm. it used to be, we went to the dictionary, for example, to get definition. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we knew that the dictionary says this. Yeah. So whenever you go, you go to the dictionary and you search a word, like, for example, whatever, ADHD, mm -hmm. you would find the same definition. Mm -hmm. But with like what social media is, <laughs> ADHD to me is very different to you. Yeah. It gives you exactly what it is that you want. And that's why it's very easy when you go down that rabbit hole. It's very easy to self-diagnose mm -hmm. because the algorithm feeds you exactly the kind of mm -hmm. content you want to see. Yeah. Because actually prepping for this episode, yeah. all my TikTok videos are ADHD, right. OCD. So it will it will target you yes. for that particular. Put your finger down if you if you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just watch out. <laughs> but uh, second response awesome. here says. Yep. More people should talk about their struggle with mental health online. They'd save lots of lives. I, I think we've addressed that where yeah. don't, unless you're like, clinically diagnosed. Don't talk Just about don't claim it. Yeah. yeah, don't claim it. Don't put information out there because sometimes I see a lot of misinformation. Mm. And you see my cleaning videos just have people saying OCD, OCD. Mm. And then <laughs> under one OCD, <laughs> under one OCD comment, now there's people fighting. Mm. Can you, you know OCD? Yeah. You, you know. Yeah. No, she has. Mm. You see the way she, she mm. organizes. Yeah. Mm. Look Some at her. Mm. Yeah, so mm. it's just like let the psychologists and not the frauds because mm. yeah. I've seen people of the cloth yeah. and motivational speakers really coming to that space, the yeah. psychology yes. space. Yeah. So let's just leave it for the people who are certified. Mm. But what if on the, on the flip side, it's talking about, um, it's putting out like stories out there mm -hmm. uh, for the sake of healing of the people who, because there's people who, are, who might not be as eloquent. Mm. There's people who might not know to put a story together sure. with regards to what it is that they're going through. Because, you know, I kind of have this personal struggle where, um, like for me, last year was a very rocky year for me. It was very difficult. Mm. And a lot of the comments I get, it's almost as if it's a censorship of sorts where people mm. are just like, you need to safeguard your story. You don't need to let the whole world know and whatnot. Mm. But I'm like, while I see the importance of that, I'm at this very unique position where... <clears throat> excuse me um i can be able to articulate what i went through and with the articulation and with putting it out there i found a lot of people who've come and said oh i went mm. to this hospital and this is what happened and man i saw your story on engage for example and i was going through a difficult time thank you for saving me and those kinds of things so while i feel there's that because you know you can also psychology is a self-defeating profession because your goal is to make people to make sure they don't come back <laughs> yeah ideally yeah, so that's true. how you measure success even yeah. health in general yeah. ideally it should yeah. be self-defeating yeah. while while there's there's that we can't necessarily regulate we can't necessarily regulate um 
whoever puts out information out mm-hmm. there. And so I just feel like if if I don't know how to put it. There's like I feel like there's a very delicate balance where let the psychologist speak but also let the <clears throat> the people yeah, speak because it mm-hmm. kind of allows us to have like a deeper insight into yeah. whatever the thing is. I Amma? think there's just like a flip side. Mm-hmm. There's always a mm-hmm. flip side right. to it. Mm-hmm. It's just like <clears throat> Um, that's why I think I'm very I'm very keen on always saying I'm not in the psychology field guys I'm not in the right. psychology field because yeah. a lot of people will reach out to you yeah. to help them guide through something mm. and it's just that l- we can also hear these stories yeah. 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 But then if then again you can't shut out certain people so then we'll come with the self diagnosis ones yeah. who also have one to share but I think the good side of it if like let's say cuz you shared your story mm. that one person right that's that life has been changed yeah but then we're also looking at that's you, true. Are, you know what yeah. i think also um maybe the fact that when you put mental health aside or down and mm-hmm. say everyone should share the experience if they can mm-hmm. online just to enlighten someone else about what they're going through and maybe help people relate to that mm-hmm. and help people feel better without saying it's depression without oh, yes, yes, without yes, tagging yes. Yeah. that's like beautiful saying, that's you know, really me, beautiful this, i'm having this kind mm. of issue and yeah i do this to help me feel better yeah. you know i think that's mm. so insightful because it will also help us build resilience mm. because a lot of a lot of whatever it is that we're going through is usually yeah. just to we have very low resilience mm. and whenever you're going through a thing yeah. it feels very it feels unique it, to you it feels very yeah. low like because low. even for me yeah. that's the first time any i'm feeling like i don't know where i'm going to get rent yeah. and because mm. you know we you are alone you live alone yada yada, yada it feels like the the world is conspiring like against me and then you talk to yeah. someone they're like allah don't say <laughs> you know like that kind of stuff yeah, yeah. Mm. and maybe the other thing i want to touch on is shame mm. yeah i remember cuz was saying how people say don't talk about your story don't expose yourself mm. Mm. but guys shame is is something we've made in our minds mm. just to hide us from you know getting better and getting to a place where nothing nothing makes us go down nothing mm. defeats us basically right. you cannot shame the shameless Allah. <laughs> Because shame, I think shame has been passed down from our parents to our gran- from our grandparents to our parents. Yes, right, yes. right. Don't be ashamed. I think that's the other thing. Sure. Whatever you're going through, share it. You might find mm, a lot of find yeah. people. Mm, mm. Okay. Um someone else says, I'm currently dealing with postpartum depression. I didn't know it had phases to it. The thing is, I'm just so sad all the time, covered with sarcasm and dark jokes. Send help. Hmm. Yeah, um so the first thing is what we talked about before. Yeah. Self-diagnosis. Maybe mm. it's not postpartum depression. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe it's something she's just going through, maybe it's a personality that she's mm. bringing in there. And so I think it's important to talk to someone. Of course, yes. Come for help. Mm. We can't really send it, but we are sending it <laughs> virtually, but you can come for help. Yeah. Yeah, just talk to someone and see how you can yeah, see if it's something that's temporary or actually something that is yeah permanent as depression i yeah. just i don't know yeah. if i should sit this one out because yeah. ppd is, is is quite a i feel mm-hmm. like i've just heard stories yeah and um it's a thing which i do not understand as a man it's one of those things which as a man you can never understand mm-hmm. but like i've read stories and i've heard people's experiences where they felt like they hated the child and what not mm-hmm. so i think now me f- that would be how would you just to to spiral off of that what are some of the ways we can perform care for for mothers generally in such a way that it's kind of alleviates the load mm. just socially because I, while we might not yeah. know we might not know if it's ppd or what not but i know that if you've given birth you've pushed a whole human being out of yeah. your your vagina and you have to raise them yeah. like how what are some of the things just i feel like generally that we could do If I met mm. that such a person cuz mm. they could be a friend of mine. Mm. If I went to theirs, how can you be there for 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 a for a for mother? Yeah. Cuz I think postpartum is I'll, I'll not speak to it so much mm-hmm. because it's very wild to me. I've had such experiences with other people. Mm. Yeah. It's wild to me because I've seen someone go through very irrational phases in their life and the child is five years old, seven years old. Yeah. Sure. You're like, okay, what is this? Because yeah. they wake up one time and they're just like, I don't want to be in this family anymore. Mm. 
I've had someone who's texted me from an Airbnb and they were just like me I've booked an Airbnb because yeah. I, I, I can't do that. I'm not dealing with this that. again. Yeah, co- yeah. So I'm um, my first thought was I'm sorry movie references sometimes it's disrespectful <laughs> but my first thought was working moms. Yeah. And the com- like if you have a community of mothers say in mm. different towns just coming together and talking you realize you're not alone because sometimes what eats us up is thinking we are alone yeah. so when you go and see someone else going through it with someone else's experience affirms you right. yeah. it sort of brings some sanity while you're trying to figure out therapy and all that yeah. but i think communities communities for particular people like right. even if you're if you're child free look for communities for child free mm. people so sometimes you don't feel like you're mad yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I, i would say communities support for now system. awesome yeah. 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 Needs a support system yeah support and sometimes system. it doesn't come from home because even then yeah. they're looking at you and then your mother will tell you when you're the first one to give back right. you know and As this is the person born. who you are looking at <laughs> you are looking towards for right. support right. Yeah. Right. Right. yeah so i just see if you can get communities around particular yes. if you have what are they called similar experiences right I think. right yeah Um someone else says where depression and anxiety are a bitch of sisters. For that to whoever that yeah, is. <laughs> love and light. Love and light. Love and they're light. They are there. Receive hugs and bulbs. They are there. <laughs> they are there. So um I don't I, I don't know if you are self diagnosed that my you are clinically <laughs> self diagnosis or whatever yeah. whatever you've said yes <laughs> because yeah. because man yeah so tell me <laughs> why depression and, and I, was, i think i was seeing this um because <laughs> okay. me the first time i was misdiagnosed yeah. i was given like a depression whatever it had had then i was given oh you've been misdiagnosed i was yes the first time i was misdiagnosed because oh, oh, okay. when i went in i think i was in my Bustin. yes my whatever okay. Ugh, mm. it's mania and what Yes, yeah. depressive. Ah, yeah. ah, 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 ah. that's oh, actually. Yeah, so you yeah. have like you have a depressive state and, and the maniac the state. Maniac, yeah. The maniac ah. state is the best, man. Okay. I can like I can do three, three days of whatever. Mm. Oh yeah, I saw Mary Bell. She said she has seasons where she'll wake up today and she'll do everything like she'll wash the house, Allah. do her job, uh, like everything. You, what are you saying? <laughs> it's beautiful let me tell you mania is beautiful mania yeah. you you can be whatever it is that you want mm-hmm. all the good mm-hmm. things i've done have been my manic phase even that oh. fellowship where i met ivana oh. where ivana was, co- was confusing um <laughs> men from africa <laughs> i was it i proper proper because yeah. i vied for student leadership i won but yeah. then there's the time when it dips so i think when i went i was in a dip because mm-hmm. it, it had been months of just sleeping not charging not eating mm-hmm. like i would eat only when my friends would come around but i wasn't interested in food and then so when i went to the hospital this doctor stays with me like 15 30 minutes and then she says ah no he has depression and she spends more time talking to the person who had brought me than she did so i was mm-hmm. mighty offended anyways <laughs> the antidepressants were absolutely awesome for the first couple of days and then they started affecting my vision and oh, yeah, it, it was yeah experience. anyways generally the cause of point was about depression and anxiety generally <laughs> i am a very like i mean i'm a, i'm in a very safe space yeah i'm generally in a very safe environment i have no threat of physical danger emotional mm-hmm. danger but why do you wake up with a heart that's racing for one hour you're paralyzed you it's like you're in trouble <sighs> with, the, with the medication It, me because she even had to get off of that oh. then uh, now after mm. that after, after the misdiagnosis now i was i was in need now yeah. after the medication of course alleviated it and then now i took like a break and then uh, i'm just like yeah so if you're sad and then now you're waking up like you're in, you're in trouble i can't yeah. imagine because for me I, i i i tend to imagine that it's kind of easier because kind of get to decide my hours with terms of work and what not mm. but if you consistently have to you need to a routine i yeah. uh, it's unbearable it's disruptive mm. It is it has to disrupt. Yeah. It has yeah. to disrupt your thing. But anyways, it must be. there there love and light to whoever sent that. Love comment. and light. Mm. I don't know about depression. Yeah. I can't diagnose myself with anxiety. Lovely. But I have mad anxiety. Beautiful. Like my anxiety is not for <laughs> kind. Yes. There's I I proper, feel proper. proper anxiety. You want to puke the world is spinning. <laughs> Actually, yeah. in Primo, 
when I was and people thought you know the way I'm speaking here and people think I'm I look so calm yeah? Yeah. Yeah. in Primoco is this uh, what are they called public speaking right. mm-hmm. whatever yeah. yeah I used to cut myself so if you cut if mm-hmm. blood flows I feel less focus anxious. is the thing ah. Yeah, yes. I don't know if I don't know. Me, me, me I just yeah. knew in prime. I used to either hold a pin or yes. a razor. And how did you s- discover that? I don't know. Maybe I think there was one day I was nervous and then I uh, pricked. Mm. I don't know. Mm. And I think blood oozing off felt like the anxiety was oozing off. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know what it was. I was hey. like, and then see, people used to say, "Your host has been through it." Man. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is for herself. <laughs> like Terry, <laughs> like Terry, please take care of our host. Uh. You see, I've never even mentioned this experience because I thought it was normal. Right. <laughs> oh, oh man. Even Kaz is complaining. Hey, 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 hey. Please help our host, man. Okay, she can host you because then you're sick and then you hey, see a sick man, person. A sick person tells you you're sick, man. You know you're, you're in trouble. Oh, <laughs> but anyway, me, I didn't know what it was. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, maybe I've gotten better ways to handle it with yeah. time. Mm-hmm. But I know like even right now I've not eaten. I can't eat before the oh, episode because mm-hmm. I am just nervous. Mm-hmm. Like it's, mm-hmm. But you just learn to live with it. Yeah. I think I really enjoy the pain for tattoos. Right. It's very orgasmic to mm, me. Mm. But I don't Kisungu know. Kisungu okay. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. It's a man. But anyway, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't know about depression. Mm. That would be... I mean, I'm speaking as a layman. Right, completely. Right, right. I'm right. glad we have people here who have experience and are in the field. Mm. But as a la- me as a layman completely, I think I was in the bouts of depression probably 2017, 2016, mm. where I, I, again, I, I've never gone for diagnosis. Mm. I just know what I was feeling. And I was hella suicidal at right, the time. Right, completely right. suicidal. And there's a name for it. Maybe you people know it. Passive the, suicidality? Where if you can't kill yourself, but mm-hmm. if you it, saw the opportunity, yes. I think it's passive not suicidality. It. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Me, I yeah. don't know. Mm. I just thought. So I've always thought maybe 2016, 2017, I was depressed. I don't know, mm. but anxiety. I know I'm. I'm more anxious than the ordinary person. Ooh. I see. I don't know. Very nice. you said, uh, uh, more anxious than the ordinary person. What does that mean? Because in comparison to, because a lot of times when I tell someone. Mm-hmm. If someone sees me not eating or like mm. fidgeting with my legs, they'll mm. ask me, what is that? Yeah. Why are you doing that? Yeah. Stop that. Yeah. Or, so you just eat. Yeah. Or, so you, so you just go. Right. Yeah. Even and if I you're depressed, just, just yeah, smile. Just be happy. What do you mean you guys are depressed? Just, <laughs> and just be happy. Is, yeah. <laughs> just, and everyone in my life is just like, see you just. just see you just. Yeah. So I've always yeah. thought maybe... If you have asthma, just my, breathe. Just, maybe my air. <laughs> just breathe in, man. Just, Don't complicate so this thing. Way. Way. This, this is the one thing you are created yeah, just, to do. Yeah. Just breathe. <laughs> I mean, right. like... But let me say something. I think people are very intolerant of other people's weaknesses, not realizing mm. that everyone is not strong. You know, like maybe they're looking at Olive and like this is a stronger, you mm. know, oh, yeah. Yeah. shit together. Mm. And then you realize even Olive is just as human as you. Mm. And we all go through this anxiety, not okay, anxious feelings mm. and sad yeah. feelings, you know. And it's normal. I think yeah. now because of the fact that people are doing that to you, it's kind of gaslighting you to feel like, ah, this Ooh, is wrong. Yeah. Yes. Gaslighting. Yeah, everyone everyone, everyone has these anxious thoughts, honestly, mm. to be honest. Mm. It's just how you manage it and also how you talk to yourself mm. and the kind of support system I think you have. Huh? Support system is zero. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. I think mm. for sure, I think that's the issue. I think support systems are very important for yeah. different situations, like the mm. different episodes we've had before, whether it was death, whether it was just childbirth, whether yeah. it was parenting. Yeah. If you have a good support system, that shit changes your life it completely. Does for so, it, for yeah. someone who doesn't have support and for someone who has, yeah. it's like the privilege of St. Andrew's Turi and uh, <clears throat> Upper Westlands Primary. Turi you know? Turi Because <laughs> you have to also recognize your privilege yeah. when it comes to support. support. Yeah. I who have not had someone like me my whole life mm. it might be different for s- mm. you who's seen people who are more empathetic with your situation right for in sure. your life Honestly, yeah so, I do think so. but also you know it the, the support thing is not uh, a doing of your own because mm-hmm. as True. we get older 
the walkable communities like in campus it would be easier we were more broke but mm. man we were happy as hell yeah. i'm telling someone maze we used to live we were like if we started a reality show of how we used to live in ngara <laughs> we'd be so rich man and we were pure comedy cuz also all of us just became sort of famous tuliko na kai hivi tumeka kwa nyumba two days unashanga i'm cooli tumeka day 3 but was gonna do a fair it was so it was so yeah. sus but and even me cuz babu when i went to the to the hospital thing Yeah. It was also just because you know you grew up and then you isolated but yeah. it was cheaper when we were in Campo because your friends were around mm. and uh, you lived in flats which yeah. had maybe your schoolmates or fellow campus people yeah. and when you're in campus you could walk around. Mm. But right now your BFF Ju lives where True. By the time you don't even have the money to make that connection happen mm-hmm. and uh, a lot of people have grown up and they're like where well, you know Christianity is a hoax now you don't go to church mm-hmm. you don't even have that you don't church have circle yeah. and then yeah, at work you lovely. you cannot you, 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 you could be church hurt eh? you know <laughs> but but just the general access to people like just cheap access to people who it is si lazima ni introduce kama si lazima ni kuja na pesa hata sadaka si compulsory like ukishenge tu hivi brethren beloved cheap is actually the word i'm bold and underlining yes because we realize that also things like therapy mental wellness talks yeah. this conversation we are having it's almost elite it is Africa. it's it's privilege bro it's not <laughs> while you're trying to survive like in 2016 while I was trying to just get food in my tummy yeah. Yeah. you wouldn't fucking tell me that I need a therapy yeah. mm. you, you should go check if you're on the spectrum oh, well, like, what? Which one? Hunger. of hunger like, eco who already looking for food yes <laughs> Right. Yeah. So right 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 you, you also recognize privilege that comes with yeah. being able to just afford so to that i would i'd would, say um mm-hmm. do mental illnesses then become a luxury because part of the like mm. podcasters mm. who are like you know like the manosphere and what not they're like depression is a luxury the child yes. who's working in 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 the mines in congo mm-hmm. the man who's working 18 hours a day in 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 underground does not have the luxury to to be depressed because they have to be to, to provide for their families so how do you reconcile mm. how do you reconcile um those kinds of extremities mm. because well this is also it still cost you money to put this together yes and yeah. uh yes. guys please we need sponsors uh oh, please yeah. send, money, send money send money what the way olive send is treating us here yeah. i have a whole intro for just beg wow. just yeah. do yes. it do it and you can see how amazing she is yeah and uh, oh, yeah Bless so you. please yeah. please please if you if you're touched do the thing down there uh <laughs> consistent con- yeah, need, this episode needs to be an earner very good yeah it's um, healing life yes so <laughs> how do you reconcile that because part of the thing that makes me super disgusted with myself is if i look at if i look at life in terms of hardship mm. just recently I've, i've had it pretty easy fairly easy mm. but why why do i still have where's my mind why do i have to be hospitalized for stuff like surgery bipolar mm. or depression anxiety mm. and some of the people who came to my rescue who came to my aid are people who are having it rougher than i do mm. so I, f- i find it difficult to reconcile dr how do you um how do you how do you how do you unpack <laughs> that in such a way that it's okay <laughs> because you know we've said privilege and, and yeah. now I'm, i'm i'm curious no i think first of all privilege is what makes you look like you have the you know like you're able to get visibility with your mental health issues okay yeah when you're not in a position to access help mm-hmm. you don't get i think you don't get the attention you need All right. People are not there for you. Okay. Or people don't even care they're like, "Hey, you have to deal with what's going on with you." And there's mental health issues in the in the informal yes. like, it's a lot. Oh, a lot yeah, lot for sure, for sure. And it's unfortunate how it ends up um playing out mm. on how the situ- if you go there and see the situations with people who have mental health issues, they're there. Yeah. I don't think it's a, a fragment of our imagination mm. just because we have privilege. Right, no, right. No, no. It's just because um now you're able to deal with it in a way that you get attention, you're mm. able to get support, you're mm. like you guys help me with this, you yeah. guys help me with this and so mm. and you're able to articulate as you Right, say right. Yeah. yeah. Because when you have a problem, I think um, I've noticed like um, there's a child who I saw on a program, and the child killed his two brothers. Hey. And so of course that's a mental health issue. Mm. But no one is bothered mm. to find out what mental health issue that kid has. No. He's in prison. 
Yeah. Yeah, and no one cares. No one has, you know, there's no one who's going to pay for this uh, mental health support. And so um, it's happening. It's happening. Even just the information, yeah. I think it's privilege enough to have information. Because yeah, yeah. I remember my cousin, I think, fainted. Yeah. When we were we were we were not kids, maybe up or high school, and she was taken to hospital, mm. and the doctor diagnosed her with something with exhaustion, mm. and it was it spread like wildfire in their family. It was just like, <laughs> 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 so to, without the knowledge to us it was just like she's so lazy she was asked to wash dishes she fainted you know and this is someone who was dealing with a lot in school later on it's like when i'm talking to her and then she was like oh i was getting bullied there was like you know and then you've come home parents are also parenting right, right. african parents mm. so it was just a lot for her and in that moment she just blacked out yeah. and even how she doesn't know i will check out now but from from the story we have is just she was she called do the dishes hey, and then she oops, so you see, that's, that's the narrative that right, we are running right, with right, right. and looking back now i'm just so sad i wish yeah. i could hug her in that moment well right now i can still talk to her mm. and we can discuss it but in that moment i just look back and i'm like can you imagine i don't yeah. know like <laughs> It's it was really sad bad. Could it be that um and this just struck me correct me if it's a wrong thought. Mm. Could it be that we usually use um humor or or sarcasm <laughs> as a way of coping because it's almost like a sigh of relief <laughs> that eh mazesi kitu serious. So now what we do cuz let me tell you I, my friends are the worst <laughs> like dudes dudes will see you survive as long as you didn't die. <laughs> They're like, let's order a depressor for this guy. Like they'll make, as long as it didn't take you out, they'll make fun of it. But it's almost as if they're expressing like a, a sigh of relief and not to yeah. make light of, of your, like your cousin's situation. But I feel like maybe that's what, cause they're like, ah, at least it's not hypertension. Yeah. So now oh, we default yeah, to the not. other side and mm. we're just like, mm. Nini. Also, they don't know how to appreciate that someone could have a problem that is not physical. Like it's, yeah. Right. A yeah. disability should be seen. Mm, right. yeah, it's something that you mm. need to know. Yeah. This problem is my legs, my head, my mm, wrist. Yeah. Mm. So. Oh, wow. What to okay. aside? Who faint till end up? People don't faint. Yeah, faint. We've faint. lost they're the they're culture. They're Guys don't. Faint. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I've worked in high schools and oh, yeah? they, they do get panic attacks and faint. Oh, like in Nigeria, you call a preamble and then a panic attack. Like when we were younger, like when we go and go to a class seven, I'm going to find my mom by the way. Sorry, let me not derail the conversation. <laughs> Let me have just fainting and nose bleeding. I feel like um Oh, me am a nose bleeder. Yeah. Queen. Ah, vole 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 for the culture. <laughs> it's been a while. Me lead nose bleed the other day I was like should I document this? I, I, it's been a while. I've not seen people nose bleed as much. Think, yeah. People uh-huh. don't know how to deal with the with the you I just like yeah because uh, me i not bled so much i just knew you, see, like, you 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 sneeze you, uh, you see you blood you go cut like, onion yes. you smell uh. onion removes the whole whatever the booger with the blood <laughs> me i used to i i used to not bleed so much i oh, had yeah? i had everything at the oh. tips of my uh. fingers yeah so I'm awesome. Nose. I'm trying an onion the next time I nose bleed. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. You know how to deal with it doesn't come again. Oh yeah. yeah when you know how to deal with something, it never comes to you. You know, and that's the thing, which I feel like that makes this conversation really important. Mm. When we know how to suffer, we suffer better. Yeah. I feel like we suffer well. Mm. So that people are not going through things. It's just that we go through them. Yes, it's painful, but it's mm. wow, it's yeah. sort of convenient. Mm. My mm. life has a sense of humor and now it goes looking for something else to bring it. Ah, now that all right. Una ka vizuri, una ile vizuri. Ni ni ni. Okay. Right. So there's some I think this is someone in the psychology field who said this. So mm. if we don't have any thoughts on it, it's also fine. But she says great work on the podcast. Autism is actually not a mental disorder or mental illness. Mm-hmm. It's a neurological and development disorder order mm. i did not know this mm. is this true yes it's not mm. classified under mental it's, see it's a developmental disorder that's mm. why you say they're socially awkward 
Mm. Yeah, you you can be depressed but you know how to network. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Or cuz autism cannot be acquired. Is it because of that? Like no, but you're born the with it. Most people yeah. are born with it. Yeah. But but Nini as well, akina bipolar. Right? Uh, they can run in the What family. I realize is guys are mm. vibing with bipolar, especially bipolar. Akina <laughs> doctor over here, vibes. Oh really? These guys are vibing. I thought <laughs> bipolar was like I could have bipolar and then my po- you can have bipolar and then our toy won't have bipolar and even then like the chances are really low. <laughs> Is, no, I, I mean, the, first person, the first person I know who had bipolar told me even my father has it so it runs yes, in the family. The proclivity is there. It it could run in the family but you live with without okay without it until one day you get a trigger yeah. and then now this oh, thing comes up. Oh okay. Yeah because I've yeah I've seen people who um just a, a normal they're okay they're good mm. until one day something rocks their boat mm. yeah and you need to prepare people for things not to rock their boat right yeah. right when something rocks your boat it will trigger something that you never knew existed in mm. your lineage mm. or in your head or somewhere you know like in your mind mm. okay yeah so i think it's triggers that make people now bipolar uh, depression anxiety mm. you're born okay until one day something And But for anxiety why I feel like I can't claim anxiety because mm. I always thought actually I thought mental illness runs in the family that's mm-hmm. why I couldn't claim anxiety mm. Yeah. Mm. for me I feel like anxiety was acquired okay. mm. it was those experiences that I had at home mm. that would make me feel so anxious about public speaking or, ah. and for me mostly it was just you can't let your family down you can't mm. let your family. it was just you had to be the perfect human to have ever existed right. so maybe I think that's where I acquired anxiety. I uh, don't okay, think okay. it's something I was born with or ha- have always had. Yeah. It's the experiences you've had through it's life like that trauma have made you quite, Yes. Mm. Right, sure. But you know autism is is different and that's how I'm saying it's like white people who claim it. Like we don't have enough information because even the way we used to treat like <laughs> autistic people, do you know like we just need to heal to put you a break to 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 hagiane sisi wote, uhagu mse because in primary school Can you speak for yourself? <laughs> you always be the kind of person. <laughs> Not me. I'm just saying just systems, the way systems yeah. handled like <laughs> autistic people. Oh, it was disgusting. Yeah. And is it true that autism actually exists on a spectrum? Yes. Where where most of the like not okay not most of us but we could be adults who are sort of autistic but on this but we don't yes. know yeah. yeah it could be that's that's why but now that is on a it's mm. it's on a spectrum and okay. um just as 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 Ivana correctly put it it's uh, and also as a psychologist put it mm. as a developmental okay. issue it's it's quite like if you meet autistic people th- while they might have like struggles communicating mm. or um Uh, just reading the room and what not because they know they miss the social cues they also now go and research and become very nerdy or geeky about mm. it or also then they're very good at the arts or That's a sport a yes mm. like they they have they can hyper focus on a thing yeah. and zero in and that's what i've seen on yeah. social media where someone says oh because i'm a gamer now i understand if i level 900 a game i'm autistic kind of cool um we can't claim it because <laughs> Our, oh, our economic structure does not allow us to claim <laughs> it does not allow us you know to come here to depression yet like this access that was that was it's a kind of uh, <laughs> what do you tell me hey what am i more am na shima kwa hiyo topic serious you know most came to issue about zita na claim ocd akuna is the older people these older people who have clean who have kitchen tops you can no, no, I was accused of OCD even in my bed seat you you are kasafi because yeah because my mom came and then she went and told my sisters yeah what you tell me which, which one is more convenient <laughs> to claim in a bed sitter depression True. versus ocd depression because you know everything is there yeah. it's in a, a line na narrative ina kaivo i'm a adhd kwa sababu jakunja mango is but the more you unlock the levels there's levels to to this uh, to the madness yeah nobody's sure as a as a into the madness i am watching jokes ta serious all right um <laughs> 
I had, um, this this was a bit longer, but it will basically cover a lot of things we need to discuss. Take your time. Hi, Olive. Um, hope you are doing amazing. Just wanted to contribute on the topic about mental disorders. As a victim of severe depression and bipolar disorder, it's a toll. It's tough, especially at this moment of my life where I'm going through a lot. Holding up has been a struggle, but regardless, we force ourselves to continue enduring. Suicidal thoughts and the urge of self-harm has been like a day-to-day -day thought. Anger issues on the very core, anger issues on, on the very core of my heart. It's also sad not to be understood and judged. Gaslit. Wait, what's the nini of gaslight? Mm, I could gaslight you on that. Is it gaslit, gaslighted? She's written gaslighted. Yeah, no, no, so. I'm, I'm trying to gaslight you on oh. that. <laughs> I, I gaslighted right, gas and leads. looked down upon yeah, yeah. and even be accused of faking and lying. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. ah, yeah, so let's start with that last point that she said. Yeah. Faking and lying. Yeah. Again, a movie reference. I am so sorry, guys. I'm uh, just so sorry. But um, just animated. I, I'm <laughs> We, we understand. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Crazy ex-girlfriend. Mm -hmm. She gets diagnosed with um, borderline. Personality, personality disorder. Yes. Right. Later on, mm -hmm. like this is juices on what. Mm -hmm. And the first thought that comes to her is, I'm mad. I'm mad. Mm -hmm. I'm crazy. Yeah. I'm crazy. And then all the things she's been doing, like the way you said you had manic episodes, mm -hmm. all the manic episodes she's had, Flashing back. start to come to her. calculate yeah they're now summing up mm -hmm. and then to her she thinks immediately i'm i'm a horrible person and i'm a danger to everyone around me mm -hmm. and therefore she now tries to get away yeah mm -hmm. so again i told you guys over and over to go and watch that movie now it's outside netflix now go and look for it where <laughs> but it gave me so much insight into the you know the people it was her mother who kept saying what is wrong with you why don't you just be normal mm -hmm. So yeah, anyway, we can go from. Um, but I think when when people say that you're faking or you're lying, you just don't understand what you're saying. Mm, so I think many people yeah. who don't understand mental health or mental health disorders cannot comprehend what you're saying. Mm. So they're not sick. I have. They're like, what are you saying? Mm. Yeah, I can imagine telling my grandma that oh, I have uh, bipolar. She's like. Who, you know, and even yeah. in mother tongue, she'll be like, who told you? What what is that? What is? You yeah. yeah. <laughs> mother tongue, <laughs> Yes, it is. With white people problems, you know. Yeah. Yes, see me. Please. But how do you? Oh, okay, let me let me see. Uh -huh. I wanted to ask how is it the role of the person who has the condition to find ways to explain it to people? Because even me right now, I could be as 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 knowledgeable as I know, mm. but I still don't know what bipolar is. Right. I still don't know what mm. it looks like. People yeah. who've told me they have bipolar, I see them. And but I like, don't know what a manic episode looks like. Yeah. I don't know what. You're such a dicko. You're in a bamba. It's after your time. Mama, it's after. I shouldn't talk to after the coin. But I think yeah, yeah. it's the job of the person to tell the to explain what they're going through. I think it's mm. only from that that we can understand. What are you going through? Yeah. You know. Because I'm imagining now telling your grandma that I have bipolar. Yeah, like, like, why aren't you even trying to make it palatable for yeah. her? Like. Cut yeah, it into really chunks. Really for <laughs> yeah. like, hey. I had the privilege of being admitted with like a, a bunch of people. <laughs> 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 the nut house I went to. And I formed really close friends. Yeah. And we had like a... Because I feel like... Like I've told you, bipolar is vibes. Yeah. <laughs> bipolar is vibes even to the profession. And like, it's not as as straightforward as dealing with like an addiction. If you're helping people work an alcoholic program yes. or a narcotics anonymous program. Mm. And so I'd sit with this babe, and um, I was like, I'm, "I'm a way of faking it." <laughs> I was like, "Do you ever feel at some point they come a, I'm a, I'm a ninini." Well, yeah. So I, I can totally understand. I empathize with that person who feels like yes. other people would look at it and think it's they faking. Think lying, but also because yeah. you know, if you're like the role you play in your friend group, mm. again goes back to like if you have a community that you can plug into yeah. because mm -hmm. also you know we live in a society where right now nobody we don't hold space for each other that's true it's, you you have you come correct or you don't come at all mm -hmm. so you if you talk here and you want to behave how you you get outside mm -hmm. and so I, I, I can totally see it but like anyone who has my because i've had conversations <laughs> 
I'm laughing about it right now because I think about it and I think it's so humorous. Because even the medication, yeah. the medication is a joke. So the doctors will prescribe a thing. Mm-hmm. And then they'll tell you, of course they wouldn't tell you, but me, this is how I see it play out. They're like, we vibe with this for like, for two weeks. Because oh. I was put on such a dose. And then part of, because um, uh, you know me, for me, I was also hearing voices. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, for me. But why are you saying it like that? Like, why are you? I'm sorry. So I was in an accident with this, with this babe. Um, and then... Um, yeah, we, I got into a bad road accident oh. on Thicker Road. And um, so I, I was, even when I was at the hospital, like she, I could still hear her screaming and yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. So as long as you're hearing voices, bro. <laughs> and don't go quite schizophrenic. Uh, yes, yes. So now I was uh, on, on meds that schizophrenics have. And yeah. do you know what they give ah. schizophrenics? That's also like another area where there's just vibing. Because it's mm. also the same medication they use to treat epileptics. Yes, uh, and I was on such a high dose. I remember I missed a dose like this, and I finally understood why, like the Joker or like Sri Harley behaves the way they behave. Because the first time I felt like my body was cooperating with me in the pursuit of suicide. Mm. You see, um, generally it's very difficult for like a grown adult to live, and like a child. You know, a child has no will to live. Mm. You go to like, I'm sorry, <laughs> but like generally, even when you're going through um, like suicidal phases, mm. there's always that small, still voice that's just like, Wait, is it, is this it, is it not? Mm. When I'm and I missed my meds once, and I was at a gig, I was in Chiromo, and I remember it's the first time because I was even choking and I'm in a seizure and whatnot. Mm. And everything had aligned where I was just like, was yes, mm. the body and the soul have agreed. Mm. Oops. Ta- tafadali. Yeah. Check us out. Mm. Okay. So it's, uh, again, it's they're a, there. It's a bit, com- it's complex. It's, kabisa, kabisa, it's, it's kabisa. very complex because if people feel like you're faking it I'm, you can't blame them as well um mm. because the, it's they don't understand it yeah. even you don't understand it yeah. you know because mm. as a person who's going through it you're just like why am i going through this mm. so i feel like it's also just that thing for holding space for each other yeah. and yeah. i feel like that that really really helps like i know i'm having i have it mm. way better mm. than a lot of people because like some of my friends who tell me don't do this this way because you know a lot of people will be like if you're going through something call me you, even you, if you're going through something, anyone, anyone, and I'm not talking about like going through something, that one for OCG, you have another girlfriend, uh, <laughs> like if you're going through something like Let's proper, something. Eh, yeah. y- your first thought is never to call someone. True. I don't know, like, cause True. we kind of True. feel like we want to guard mm. ourselves, but there's a friend of mine who's grieving, um, and he called me and, 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 and he was crying. And it's the first time I was just like, this man meant what he said. Mm. And that flipped it for me. Because I have a community of people who are just like, oh yeah, if you feel like this, yada, 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 yada. And yeah. now I know that this man who's, and it's not that it's G, he's, he was not, he had not proven to be a consistent friend. He had, but I just felt like this fully humanized his help. And so I feel like also part of it is humanizing each other uh, sure. beyond our, our experiences. Mm. Vulnerable with each other. It is, mm. it is. Yeah. So when we talk about extending grace mm-hmm. or just like humanizing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and being there, again, me, I'll just go back to crazy ex-girlfriend. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Um, while she was going through her episodes, mm-hmm. she just does things, guys. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. even, there's a... There's, I think there's a scene where she she literally breaks up with a guy she likes mm. and then takes another guy home from the very same party. Yeah. A guy she's never... It was just something wild. And I'm thinking... I was looking at it and I was looking at it as an outsider, as their friends around her, mm-hmm. as their family. Yeah. And I was like... I, I, I think I'd support her day one, day two. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much grace... This elasticity. Correct. I don't I don't know how, how elastic my grace is. Yeah, yeah. And I was just I'm I've always been like very scared. Like, am I showing up for mm, people mm. enough? Like how much how much grace is grace? At but what point? Whatever you have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, because you can't give what you don't have. That's true. The other thing is you, you only have enough grace that you have. You 
can't give more than you have or you'll feel resentful. Mm. Whatever you have you give ikishaisha anapata huyo mwingine. Hope atapata mwingine. Atapata? Yeah. 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 Also as as they have their community. I think yeah. as Kazi is saying you have to have people around you that mm. you've been vulnerable with and they've been vulnerable with you. Mm-hmm. And that's who your support system is. Mm. Okay. Uh, utakapitia also you you are going to screw up my friend yeah. and you also have to be okay with facing the consequences of your actions uh, for, as you've had grace does not extend forever um it's so just my, maybe there are people uh, kuna just generally no, generally if you have if you have like if you're, if you're dealing with like an addiction or um like an illness of this kind which makes you do crazy things mm-hmm. you will cross a line that is yeah. irrevocable Cause let me ask so mm. when, when you're when you're with bipolar mm. if you take your meds yeah. you have to have the money you don't have the money so what what it does it's, it, yeah. it 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 nice it it kind of evens you yeah it, it's nice i think it it just keeps you stable but i hate medication because yeah. it robs you of life yeah mm. um i experienced like for me now i became a zombie i was just like yeah mm. and then you know part of they have side effects um yeah. Like for me it was so bad Sh- mm. shall I I I had like a I'm a pianist mm. ideally you want to sit still mm. or if you're moving your body it's because you're dancing mm. but now I had wobbly feet mm. and that affects the tempo of whatever it is that you're playing yeah. okay. to eh, man I don't know about other people but I, I couldn't get my morning wood Oh. for weeks on end do you know as a person who um <clears throat> does not drink breath red <laughs> <laughs> breath red and, and this is uh, this was revealed to me in a dream <laughs> but, <laughs> but generally as a person who's like very um maybe sexually um motivated yeah motivated uh, highly driven um <laughs> um you know yeah. ideally and also because as a healthy human being i'd be like at the very least this is one mm-hmm. thing i get i remember from when i got into the institution until i came out i'd even answer the questions that asked me how often do you think about sex never i was like going from Partic- from, to not yeah, even thinking active, about yeah. so for me i just that's what i that's those are part of the qualms i had with mm-hmm. with medication yeah. and um Yeah so it it kind of it levels it, levels it out it out. it levels you out if you want to if you're living like if you have like an 8 to 5 your life is predictable and what not and you're not mm-hmm. really trying to do remarkable things yeah yeah it's it's, it's, it's it works if it, it kind of works if you yeah, if you're average <laughs> it works but yeah. if the world lied to you it set you up yeah. and told you you're going to be a great person mm-hmm. like I can live live just pray you don't get it Uh, you, you've yeah. survived you survived a lot I mean, you you you've, you've hooked at the <laughs> threshold <laughs> you know the way i'm so scared of getting chicken pox i never got chicken pox all right eh 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 oh excuse me yeah we are the special one kwani mliko mnaishi nini hii ni privilege by the way me now i was living in sharks this is some diseases are for nairobi <laughs> Gosh no. Yeah. This is yeah. like a I think it's a rare thing. I've never met yeah, people who have oh, really? two of them in one room. Mm. Oh really? Uh, Everyone had chicken yeah. pox. Yes. Yeah. Si una mbango utakufa, si una joy. Count it all joy that you have it now. Unatembea hapo ukiwa hivi umedotiwa pink pink hivi unaambiwa mzee if you have it later you're gonna yeah, we die. Yeah, we're not talking about adult with it. Yeah. But me I've lived my best life. Ah, I'm for sure. I try to make it. Only don't get chicken pox. Hey. Uh, well, imagine you die ugly. Ni ni kwani nimeokosea. You want me to, go to, go to. What's the problem I, of me dying like this? There's something you said. Yeah. Um uh you said it levels you out. So there's a girl called Maribel on TikTok yeah. who also does videos on mental wellness mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and she said she also has bipolar actually Ooh. and she said the problem with the meds is that she has to choose between ever being creative again yes. or, so now she if you want to stay sane mm-hmm. then you're never in the space to create right, something right, amazing right, to right, give right. people results that yeah. they've seen before so the worry here could be there's someone you did something for that mm. was completely above and beyond 
and now they come back and, and uh, we cannot and match know. that yeah yeah so I was telling a pal of mine um, who was quite insistent on helping me get like back on meds and and what not I was like I feel like it's too steep a price to pay mm. we all don't have to live to 100 yeah uh, guys who are here like me we get into trouble somehow with diet like 35 not because at I'm, I'm this is not me quoting death it's just that I've seen my personality I've read about guys G who are joking at tomboy I'm always I'm always on the street somehow G for what for a demonstration <laughs> some things you want to get into politics somehow yeah. it's going to happen mm. and so I'm like it's too steep a price to pay I'm like yeah. be depressed for a month or two like january february mm. beautiful months mm. i've done nothing i've been a cabbage yet but mm. now i'm getting out and i feel like i'm getting out of the shell because when i saw the text of you asking me to come to the pod yeah. i was just like <laughs> yeah i was just like yes <laughs> enter the mania and i'm like yeah. that and then i have like a manic face and then i'll crash kidogo versus just being a yeah. chill out zombie yeah, i'm easy. like let me take this one Okay. Oh so without the meds. Yes without okay, the meds. Yeah, it's, so risky. it's risky. It's would not recommend. I know as a doctor uh, yeah, that I'm not, no actually I was going to say something else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I I don't actually support medication. Okay. Mm-hmm. I really do I really do try if I get someone for therapy because I'm not a clinical psychologist. Okay. Yeah. I'm not a doctor. Yes, yes, yes. I don't diagnose, I don't give medication, but I still am on the side where I think you can handle yourself without medication mm. and even if you use medication it should be short term to help you kind of regu- regulate your emotions get some help and then now continue on your own so i okay. i like that idea but you know maze the way when you work when you walk into a hospital and that's what makes me even really scared mm. of um even admitting that i'm not on meds because yeah. if i ever walk back in Ah uh, bro I'm not surviving because even mm. part of cuz for me I cost kills I didn't leave at it because they discharged me <laughs> they cost kills in the hospital got everyone in trouble and I said I am leaving this place tomorrow. everyone was just like ah to me oh na sisi you wanted to go to make a city and kasema mimi nitatoka hapa kesho and it kind of worked but when you get into such a thing and mm. there's a doctor I used to think oh this doctor is my friend um it was not even friend like that i felt understood by this particular doctor mm. yeah. he was not quick to medicate he was not mm. he was just like go and read about this mm. you've done your psycho evolution your dsm whatever go and read then we will work on a medication plan mm. of course then i was taken to hospital before we could do it by the time i was going back now i went back to zushia this hospital because i had a seizure and i was like why Mm-hmm. and why did you guys not help i um i couldn't even count on the support of this other person because they were like yeah he also recommends my friend called this other doctor he was like we recommend he stays in hospital for 90 days mm. and these people have specific companies they send you to they're like go and buy these drugs uh, to yeah. these people uh, yeah the pharmaceutical uh, bro yeah. let me tell you and that's why i'm like ah, while well, i ah, doctors no hate but what Yeah. those people are like it's like a money whatever it's health in general because i don't yeah. know if you saw my story mm. before before i started wearing glasses yeah i was on antibiotics for three full weeks treating uti let's go uti macho let's go <laughs> i was in three towns seeing doctors absolutely love it and it's the last doctor who was just like Like, <laughs> have you considered that <laughs> that maybe it's just your eyes uti and i'm just uti and then the, <laughs> the paycheck strikes again <laughs> Oh gosh. The Patreon and capitalism had a baby. <laughs> It's Danny's eyesight by the way. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe. I had been even I was supposed to go in for what is it called that scan. Oh god. The one that I know MRI. the cheapest is 40k. Oh. I was to go for an MRI. Guys, I'm just long sighted. That's my only mistake. Yeah. I was just long sighted. Ah, kasema hapana. We have analyzed the you have to be careful you have to be careful for yourself. Ah, so sana, hey. sana 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 yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, let me ask you something. Mm-hmm. I have another question. Yeah. Yeah. So do you feel like mental health uh, illnesses happen to the very smart people? Like you're so smart until kuna mali tu the the wire just goes in a katika. It goes yeah. You're yeah, a smart feel, person quite literally you're a you proud are. man. And uh, and you you're even actually more susceptible to things like narcissism mm-hmm. because you, you, I'm smart why are you guys not supplicating mm-hmm. and this is a problem i have like as a musician i'm absolutely amazing but i don't like preparing things mm-hmm. i'm the guy you call in 
for your dress rehearsal. That's when the most of it comes out. And just I've always navigated life as the guy who shakes things really quickly yeah. and I I move on haraka haraka. So I for smart people is because you're idle. Mm. Um but I'm not necessarily saying I don't want to make it look like oh also because I'm not at as smart. I'm just like slightly above average. <laughs> What we think you are coverage. Yeah. So yeah. please to peer to sich danganye sana I'm not as smart. But what will just a crusade ya Benny Hinn so. Yeah. Umeenda huko? Umeamua? Wewe unajua. Say majority are smart. Eh 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 eh. Yeah, so um it can happen to anyone really. Yeah. Um just depending on 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 whatever it is that you've gone through your trauma or your yeah. spicy memories mm. um how, it, you're dealing with them. how you're dealing for sure mm. that's me that's what I would I mean I, I wouldn't necessarily say as a smart person again access mm. uh, yeah. you 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 get to kind of nini certain in his uh, illnesses yeah. more than than others but i was saying that is because i feel also people who are very um let me say genius mm. they really extend their brains they really go to great lengths of their brain that might look like their mental health but it's just maybe yeah. just i'm just like passionate super smart yeah. Yeah. okay right. that's why i'm who hiya you've triggered another discussion that needs to be said mm-hmm. now this being dumb and being smart in school and especially the kenyan 844 system. I don't know how the British system is working Montessori people mm. who have kids you can keep up. Let's go. But I think I've all, I don't know what your thoughts are. I just want to hear your thoughts on how I know smart people, smart people who just could not pass exams. That was our only problem. Mm-hmm. And someone like me, I was even like really good in math, biology and English. Is this ingine msinitishe please? Mm. So and it was such a struggle to just be like but i'm good in this why can't yeah. i just get like credits for this yeah, first yeah. Mm. i just want to know your thoughts on especially the education system people who we knew were dumb uko namba sasa umekaza na uko drama na uranguka exam i mean i'm a good singer drama whatever mm. but i don't know let's just talk about the school system first of all because it's traumatized us in multiple yeah, ways yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. i think people call me smart but quite literally i think um i was just curious i think we kind of need any curiosity with that and then now you mm. couple it with like mm. i'm very very curious um and eloquence i get away okay. with a lot with just That's eloquence it. sometimes i'm just saying so <laughs> so now you imagine right. I'm, not <laughs> hey, I'm, i'm just not saying um error uh, yeah, I'm, just <laughs> i'm just not using filler words Uh, and then someone's just like you're so smart oh my goodness you, you, you know i just like tonal variation and whatnot but for me how i really navigated primary my school my tiktok cooking <laughs> career i'm so <sorry. laughs> uh, we we we, we na- <laughs> I, i am not i'm am I, what exactly am i saying please tell me what exactly yeah. i am saying uh, saying a lot but not getting a lot said mm. but we find we find it we find it it's a good time mm. it's just mm. a good time mm. Mm. Anyway, yeah. I, which which is which is great also because eloquence requires a, i feel also it's a function of loneliness mm. because generally we are not meant to be eloquent because how conversations are supposed uh. to happen you are not supposed to contribute for so long if we're in a communal <laughs> setting una leta kidogo huyu ana leta kidogo so eloquence eh you for love to just a kibaba ideally in an ideal setting so if you're eloquent it's also i appreciate i appreciate the fact that you've taken some time alone and we need to interrogate you, you. yes you you are not uh, yeah you're you're the weak link in the in the site or you're the whatever you have to just stay alone and talk uh, yes you have to it it yeah. is any eloquent person if you chunguza them properly that's true eh utapata wako na hiyo wako na hiyo shida kiasi when you're having conversations like this yeah. but if i was to just what's on my mind and i'm alone yeah that's easy selfishness i will diagnose you but this is not a yeah People are like oh Olive you are such an extrovert right if you remove me from those four corners in that house yes Trendy. I cannot talk. I can't tell you what I was saying two right. minutes ago. Right. So yeah, sometimes it's just, yeah. yeah, so also you know primary school was very easy to navigate. Yeah. Quite generally for me oh. is because I my dad had a bookshop and then ika kufungwa. So nikakula stock. So nilisoma tu kila kitu. 
Yeah, so by the time nilikuwa class 7, we was I was one of those kids who are ready to do KCSE at yeah. KCP at class 7. Even classics, like I would write a composition, the whole school is told, "Ah, yeah, kijana ure amandika siju ni 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 ni." But that in itself, that makes you different in yeah. the sense that there are people even if wangepewa stock yote, they mm. still cannot pass. They still don't understand things like that. They can't. Sawa, so, uh, but, like like but then, yeah. but then, but yeah. then you get to uni. Yeah. Ah. And then uni cuz uni is a great equalizer cuz you know those people who we thought were slow they kind of developed a work ethic. Me that's the thing I'm yeah, struggling with. True. I'm just like if I had half the work ethic I had in class 7. Mm. I usually tell people a lot of the English I know I knew by class 7. That's true. Me niliongeza tu kitu thing we are using. Me niliongeza tu kidogo tu high school kidogo tu but yeah. that's all. <laughs> Let me tell you nilis cuz I read so much in primary school. Mm students companion ilikuwa hapa sijui nini ilikuwa hapa like compositions it was not kwa golden tips and i'm just like eh even though i used to raise up girls i used to look at my facebook dms <laughs> the girl i was hitting on in form 1 form 2 ah baby girl if you're watching this thing <laughs> if you're watching this thing <laughs> anyways but you develop uh because also there's different types of intelligence as you aptly put it there's yeah. people who would excel in math and what on there's people who excel in the arts and then there's people who just generally know how to handle people and those kinds of things mm. but just if you were to think about it academically by which we usually kind of measure the smartness in our education system the ability to regurgitate or whatever i didn't think i had to i didn't i didn't have to memorize it because i'd done it so many times mm. like by the time to in class 7 Mimi yeah. niko class 8. Nilishafanya kitu babangu alikuwa obsessed cuz mm. alikuwa obsessed kunifundisha sijui compound interest, simple interest. Yeah. Like hizo ni vitu alinifunza class 4. So nikiingia class 8 niko like kwani amjui. <laughs> no but then that means your method of learning. I learned methods of learning quite mm-hmm. recently when mm-hmm. I was doing career coaching mm-hmm. yeah. and it was it is only then that I learned the things that I even use on my commentaries mm-hmm. for like TikTok videos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All of it is like knowledge from school but yeah. I couldn't get that shit when I was right, in school. Right, right. Yeah. But right now I realize I recall them because I've interacted with them. If yeah. you tell me this phone is black, yes. I don't know how to register that that phone is black until I see it and I see that phone is black. Mm. So I've really struggled with object permanence just Sim- things I can't see. So you're yeah. telling me about Sijui Golgi bodies. Nephron. Proximal convoluted tube. If you tubal. don't cut and show me Golgi bodies, I don't know. Galaxy. If yeah. yeah, you're telling me about the the Alps, you're telling me about Sijui. What are these things called that now I'm so used to? When you go to the coast, you yeah. see sea arch. Right, 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 right. I, those things were in geography and you <laughs> can't you can't remember that shit yeah, yeah, yeah. right yeah, now you guys are buying stones for your engagement yes things. yes yes Una Una rocks, kitu yeah. Apo. I I yeah but right now you know all your you, you know all your stones you know the yeah. one you want on cg watering i was just like i'm the kind of person who has to interact right yeah. right 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 to yeah. to learn but right, i can right. imagine my whole life i was Anesthetic. convinced i'm mm, dumb mm. Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. that's the name. Ooh. I was convinced I'm dumb because hey, hey. So I learned <laughs> the <laughs> different. No, no. Flex on us. <laughs> Tumalize <laughs> daktari finish us. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, but that is just I needed to Because if you think about it, even that at, that intelligence thing. Yeah. Nowadays we think that lawyers are really smart people, but if you think about it, those Muli kwa wale watu wa mwezi fanya math. Kwanza intelligence na jog. Sio? Like but nowadays the people yeah. who like Yeah. Smart I feel like it's a social construct cuz every single yeah. time I've appeared mm. just because I'm in a suit and I can talk yeah, kind of fast yeah. ah, yo Akili I'm like you know and people should know oh gosh people should know these things go a long way so yeah. the, the, when I learned methods of learning yeah. it really served me as a manager mm. I created the most productive team in wow. that company oh. cuz I was like you were on a Chicago text yes. mm. aya unaona hii video mm. I'll summarize it for you in text yes, and send it right. to you yeah. so I had a very productive team wow. cuz I'd create either video audio text depending yeah. on how they'll yeah, they'll they like take it up right. so I like people just need to be a bit more keen just that because yeah. we Daniel Tufunza like those techniques like Feynman technique and what not yada, yada yada because even if you think about it if we're just to be objective if i put you in any career you would succeed mm, we could true. all enroll to med school yeah. what makes mm-hmm. med school hard it's a lot of information yeah. and it's a, it's it's hella pressure mm-hmm. but 
unfortunately cut off ni 84 ndio maana unapata tu wase wanaingia wanasema oh yeah i got an a and then you get in there and then now <laughs> they've become whatever it is that, that they've become and this is not to this is not to to shit on any career yeah. to be fair yeah. but it's just that we put so much pressure and emphasis because yeah. you've hung out with people in dale careers and i'm like wongo that cannot mm. be the same brain you're using to <laughs> to draw buildings yeah. we are walking into buildings and you're designing your homes and i call like we ufai kwa where is easy trust <laughs> building <laughs> and then you meet people in these courses that yeah. people really divide, um despise like environmental science yeah. and sociology or whatever mm. and i and sijikani jua kona time sana wana wana soba sana but i'm just like <laughs> the, the, I'm, i'm hating i'm hating because me i did an easy course me i did an easy course what and is i your course? become finance Uh, how is that an easy course it's hella easy it's one of the easiest things you would do on earth yes smart people kid. kind of people kind of want to fight me about it. i have friends ji who work in accounting lessons in aisha tuesday <laughs> hey <laughs> take me there that's why they're hiring tiktokers in news room ah, you're wrong <laughs> oh yeah you're wrong for that but everyone match up. everybody can. kind of oh, sounds yeah. the same and also it's because yeah. you know we also we were robbed of individuality yeah, even just true, depending true, on how true, we used true, to even true. the way radio presenters sound the same is because tulifunzo chini ya director moja 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 cha chile ya msingi ya nini ya waletile consistently imekuwa hivyo that has always been the story even just in yeah. that lack of individuality also kind of just to bring it back we think of things in a certain dimension mm. so if you stray from it god forbid you have a mental illness and you're straying away from the line we don't know what to do with what you do with because you. depending on what we've been equipped with consistently mm. it's a culture of silence it's a culture of um to the line yes to the line and i lay there you nini kidogo and where are you going where are you eh, going eh. come back here right and we were not allowed to question right the hey, next week is church we eh. were not allowed yes, to question yes sunday na yeah. <laughs> can't wait questioning was considered disrespectful yes. yeah. so you were to take what was given to you as mm. fact right as right and if you explore you're also shamed mm. any exploration mm. outside the line yeah but I, i applaud people who are who who explore and Thank people you. who put the yeah. stuff out there because yeah. you're paving a way mm. so you Thank making you your right tiktok now. commentary and what not there's people who look at you and be like no you know you should not do that as a woman you should not be doing this kind of whatever <laughs> whatever but then yeah. i'm just like eh, eh, yeah. these stories zita exactly. talk mm. like yeah. we this we need a person who just risk it all for the sake of of liberating stories. and also just like yeah. take 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 reason away from things eh yeah. i just because there's funny commentary doesn't mean it has to serve a purpose we're absolutely it's a good time yeah we're laughing we, we, we are happy and that's the, it's okay that's the thing which and you know that's why it's very difficult for us to read mm-hmm. because we've made reading such an arduous exercise which has to be purposeful it has to serve do you remember we used to read just for vibes stories oh, for akina simon makonde ulikuwa unajikuta unaiba new primary progressive english ya classics cuz ilikuwa na stories in abamba yeah. just for vibes and that's yeah. why I, like i disagree the people who are just like oh you you need to study you need to zero in on philosophy mm. for you to get to philosophy you need to like read the things that you like yeah. those fictional yeah. romance novels whatever what strikes what your interest. it's easier for a person who reads to read than yeah. it is for a person who's being that's why I'm, even i don't throw shade <laughs> on people who read like yeah, motivational oh, yeah, ah, yeah. right. like who read like motivational self help books and whatnot yada, yada, yada. it's easier for you to get those people to read like a paragraph of something else than a person who doesn't read yeah that's, that's, okay. yeah. that's true yeah. actually right mm-hmm. so there's something you've said that i just want to tie it back to now you said you're shamed for going outside yes. like not towing the line so um experiences or rather just random thoughts about the relatives who we saw what, that were completely cast out back hey, then yes and some of it a lot of it was alcoholism i've seen alcoholism in my family and then there's like aunties who never got married of mm. course at the time there was pr- so much pressure i don't know what the contraception whatever looked like mm. yeah. but they had kids but yeah. looking back there are people i look at and i'm like if this person was in our time I don't think I think they'd have been child free. I think they'd have taken this oh, yeah. career. Mm. I think they'd have. Yeah. So, let's just talk about how basically mental health or mental wellness looks like from the older generation or rather just your experiences on that thought. 
Uh, well, that, that's a it's a very heavy topic, eh? and I feel mm. everyone is affected by that yeah. because the problems our families Sorry. did not solve of mental health, mm. we are now dealing with them right now, yeah. Yeah. and we are being shamed for it or we are being made feel guilty for what we are doing. But I think um, most people long time ago were were unable to question what their families were doing that they didn't like, mm. or they were unable to go out of the line. And when you go out of the line, you're really you're really shamed or you're really made to feel bad about yourself and you go into alcoholism. Yeah. You find a oh, way to rebel. Uh, so you're finding a way to deal with what is not happening in the family or the way that your family is treating you. And yeah, you find yourself in something else. Mm. Yeah, but I feel like the family unit caused all this damage. Mm. Yeah. And it's still causing the damage, it's to still. be honest. Mm. Yeah, I feel like kids who end up in alcoholism, you know, in these areas where they're unable to come back, Mm. I'm not saying drinking is bad, but I mean you can drink but not be addicted. You can mm. have um, sexual encounters but not be addicted. You can do everything yeah. in proportion. Yeah. When you realize someone is addicted or they've gone so far from who they are. Or you're doing something as a reaction. Yes, mm. yeah. yeah, if they're going so far from who they are, then it means their family was not supportive or they really mm. made them not align yeah, mm. and not accept them for who they are. You know, I think the support from the family really goes a long way, honestly. Yeah. And most of African families are not yes. yeah. We're not gonna see much, but <laughs> <laughs> me, let me yeah. play devil's I'll play devil's advocate mm-hmm. for, uh, sure, sure. for the for the families. <laughs> because our folks yeah. our folks lived in a we also need to look at it in, in its entirety. Yeah. In the economic times they lived in, in the political times they lived in. Mm. You know, we've lived in such a privileged time where yeah. we can say whatever it is that you want. Yeah. I could just say Mase, screw this government. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't dare yeah. during Nani. Yeah. Damn Daniel's time. Now. He's not oh, oh, but, uh, <laughs> during Moy's time. Like those guys lived in <laughs> silence. <laughs> and and you know, Yanni. And then so what happened to our folks is our folks spiritualized it. Yeah. Our folks took it to the Lord in prayer because <laughs> nobody knows the tribulations we see. Mm-hmm. And that's why having this conversation with your folks, they believe that it is not the torture chambers mm. it is not economic hardship okay, yeah uh, it's you can pray about it <laughs> yeah, it's not one party it, like you know so they lived in such a silenced time yeah. mm. and so you'll find those people are more spiritual and that's why i'm not even like i don't even throw shit to them yeah, i'm just yeah, like yeah. you found the thing that you cope with mm. and that was religion wow, yeah. so when it comes to us because also you know we don't live in isolated lives we live yeah. under those people yeah. but then we've gotten to the point where i'm just like no i don't think that this makes sense mm. and so i feel like i cannot spiritualize a mental condition yeah. for our folks it's very easy for them to see this is a attack from the devil because i have <laughs> raised my please. children i've raised my children properly yeah, yeah. in the way of the lord we've gone to church every saturday or sunday yeah. or to the mosque and they're like what do you mean you've shown up it's an attack from the devil because mm-hmm. it also is unseen we are fighting against <laughs> principalities I of the darkness i i i i <laughs> sponsors send something small remember we are supporting the channel olive is doing an amazing job so please um yeah anyways so like I, that's why i feel like since we're in the age of information we yeah. we we have the the benefits and, and luxury mm-hmm. almost the... of the tools as well True. to kind of put a name to these kinds of things because me when i was diagnosed my folks couldn't get it yeah i can imagine uh, what do you mean because you know how illnesses work if it's cancer does anyone in your family have cancer mm. so yeah is it hypertension yeah. don't do this is it this you can trace it mm. in terms of lineage also it was very bureaucratic mm. then mm. mental health mental illness show up mm. where you could come from the healthiest family and mm. then one day after school bro i'm sorry you're a schizophrenic mm. or you're but a how SG. come how come for mental health we want to we want to take it away from the normal way we do it. Like if you see cancer and we don't have anyone in our family that has cancer, mm. you're like, oh, even Uncle Nani died of cancer. Mm. So you can take it from outside. Mm. But when it comes to schizophrenia, yeah. you're not like, oh, ata Uncle Nani alikuwa gadidoba. But you think about... You don't want to borrow that. But but normal ugonjwa that we can see, that one you're comfortable with, assigning it's, it's from the lineage. Yes, yeah. but also, you know, also during their time, AIDS had also just shown up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, where, 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 where? you guys were coping. You saw the stigma around 
any sort of like anomaly and that's why we were like tulikuwa tunajua tu ni mwenda wazimu watu utaenda kuokota makaratasi kwa barabara and it was very um so we we at the point where we are we are open to times have been created where we can talk openly about it mm-hmm. and we're still like in those kind of developmental stages mm-hmm. because yeah. also psychology as a field as we know it now is not mm-hmm. very old it's yes, probably true. 50 yeah, to yeah, less especially. than a hundred years you know mm-hmm. yeah. just even in the world it's not oh, it's okay. still fairly new now in africa mm-hmm. it's you it's have to break the other level yes yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we are still trying to get our footing. Mm. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. But on that note, because mm. I know of a, I know of a friend who, when they came out to their parent as queer, okay, their parent didn't know how to process that, mm. and so their parent went back to school and like did psychology. Yeah, Aww. yeah. Just to be able to like deal with, right? To be able to know what to do with the with <laughs> the son now, mm. and. I I think to me that's where now I start calling out that generation our parents generation mm. where it's like I'm not going to fault you for what you did in the past right. you that's as much as you knew you yeah. didn't yeah. know any better yeah. Yeah. but that now you know better you see the repercussions of the things you did mm. you can be able to acknowledge yeah. where you went wrong mm. and try and tweak a few things now where my problem is coming is that even now when you can see mm. you still don't want to acknowledge and try where to where you might have gone wrong and it's we are not telling you to apologize mm. we're just telling you from now on you can you can change this mm. you can just not say this statement you can just let them be like just yeah. a few things the fact that you're you're too rigid to even change from now on going forward that's where now this yeah. tension is coming between mm. older generations and the newer ones we're But, just like we're not asking for much we're just asking acknowledge at least don't make fun of it but <laughs> when i, I come and tell you even if you don't understand leave yeah. it i think the it's, tension is the tension is good yet again yeah I, yet again <laughs> i shall i shall do that devil's advocate thing no, but Where, yeah tension mm. is good because i think it brings change it mm. does because now um eventually you learn with every offensive statement you yeah. learn how to articulate whatever it is that you're going through oh, better true, true, and then true, at some true, point true. they will it matters the dumber one they'll understand, they'll understand all what i want to enjoy in you pussy because i am mm. um, also you know these people lived in a time when all they cared for was your survival you had That's to survive true. polio you had to survive <laughs> yeah. malaria Wait, yeah, uh, like you know time. so mm. it for them uh, or to like uh, as long as I'll imagine if we don't refuse we don't refuse we're just telling you now you're not surviving it's exactly. the same you see how yeah. therapists are now telling you you see that space where you're in where you are surviving yes mm. you're not anymore But now you can afford a person has survived yeah. for okay. 50 years how yeah. do you undo it you know why and they you can't know, even go to therapy they're praying them they're just like hey, it's let's, okay. let's read you know why we are why we are why we are faulting oh, them yeah, yeah. it's the way them they fault us they're just yeah. like you all if you're not passing in school and ivana is passing yeah. even yeah, you don't you I, see ivana's mother has gone to therapy hey, even yeah. you hey. sha <laughs> melissa oh. we are seeing other people in your generation right, right. Ah. Yeah. you why you not mm. correct yeah. do, do yeah. better please try do yeah. better <laughs> Do, <laughs> please do better. Um the last the last one I have here mm-hmm. says there need to be more awareness on mental illness issues up to this time some people still see it as witchcraft. <laughs> This causes stigma to the people affected and also most people <laughs> do not seek professional help mm. I have seen. Mm. Yeah. So yeah that's our last one. So do we want to discuss stigma? Uh, like that's funny. What <laughs> were what were rogwa? Yeah. They make it spiritual or they say hey you know someone must have bewitched me or jinxed mm, me. Mm, yeah. Mm. No but you explain to me how you're just okay and then suddenly you're picking papers alongside the road. Lazima mtu alikuangalia vibaya. No. The paper looks pretty. Kwa hiyo uweze ukota tu kana. Eh. Contribute happen. money specifically because she needs help. Yeah. She might need to um I think this is a coping mechanism. Oliver has uh, she's become a prolific. You see the way people usually say men would rather become the greatest movie directors and go to therapy. I think uh Oliver a uh, indie coping mechanism yake. Uh, Guys, we have to survive. Like our parents through polio, <laughs> through chicken pox. So eh, eh, because because like I um the I I can see where why you'd say that so someone would think it's witchcraft and what not yeah. what not is because we always kind of want a label for something yes. and because mm. it's been so yeah, far removed circle, yes, back to the first it's word. been so far removed 
from us. We don't even know what the culture was. Yeah. And I, I was talking, I had this conversation with a with the babe this morning, and they were like, I, I'm, I'm like, man, I don't know. You, if you talk about, just to preempt the next episode, like Christianity, for example, you say, mm-hmm. I choose Christianity, but I'm like, that's not a choice because you 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 don't know you, yeah mm, you are not true. making an active decision between like yeah. whatever you're african whatever is There's and, no and you, you just were born into it you're maybe like a fourth generation christian what not yeah. so for people we because we do not as a country that's majority christian or spiritual mm-hmm. because we do we know that these things are not of god they are from the deceiver Mm. and the destroyer of lives the thief who it's comes to kill still and destroy darkness. yes yeah. and therefore we do not know how that satan works because that's another thing mm-hmm. you can't tell me specifically what it does you therefore le- <laughs> 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 oh it's a sick woman this one we are trying to self diagnose i will yeah, tell you yeah, i c- yeah. one more statement and i'm claiming her this one <laughs> <laughs> tell you her illness some <laughs> diagnosed um and I share drugs na ya ta by the way uh, but um we 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 can blame it on witchcraft because it's spicy enough mm. it's something that you would see someone would concoct and then you would see because yeah. these are the stories we know of witchcraft and what not mm. um th- just as as you guys have aptly put it the stigma around it and the the lack of information um would would kind of rationalize it but then now you know a depressed christian for example who does not mm. believe in witchcraft we are kwa shida kwa matata mbaya huyo kazi yake tu anafa ku anafa ku kuomba or whatever it is and actually the church had to come a long way to even accept like therapy as a thing yeah. it was just yeah. like everything could be solved absolutely by God. So absolutely there's, yeah. there's been milestones and sort of appreciate that yeah no, i'm not to take away anything from from god as a big w to god and jesus mm-hmm. it's beautiful yeah, but possible, so. yeah and that's why i'm like we, we you, yes 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 absolutely absolutely una to me a gari but that's where you draw the line mm-hmm. like you, you know like we we worship in a building and not on the trees yeah. while, while facing mount kenya or what not but then to make a kukubati therapy you know so it's <laughs> I'm talking about Rudy next week. Hey. Witchcraft. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you witchcraft see it too. Okay, so uh, can I ask something about you had something to say? Um so now that we've talked of course therapy uh, all the episodes we've had I think in season 4 it's just been guys let's go to therapy let's go yeah. to therapy. It, mm-hmm. it literally solves 90% of those problems. Yeah. But now I'm thinking how does that look for the people who do not have this space like even therapy in itself is such a good space in Nairobi mm. outside if i go back home <laughs> therapists are not in like small towns mm. that's not oh, a yeah. thing psychology is not a thing you go in ume faint we were even surprised with that diagnosis at that time mm. at a exhaustion or mm. something mm. Mm. I never heard of tell us kama ni anemia yes. like, tell us, yeah. 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 yeah so i'm just thinking how how do we make this sort of information probably accessible this sort of services to someone in the remote areas who doesn't i don't know yeah um what i'd say uh the thing is as a support system i think a support system is important right. because even mm. a therapist is part of your support system that's mm. why of course sometimes it's expensive mm. but it doesn't have to be expensive so there are free therapists like in uh, Kenyatta National Hospital there's a youth ah. center there and there's free counseling mm-hmm. Of course if you're a church person you can go to your church counselor. Mm. Um yeah <clears throat> yeah for those okay. who you know those who are comfortable in the church setting if you're not um there's the Kenyatta and also I think just talking to someone having friends and I think one thing I want to say very clearly I think mm. people look for you know like the way I'd say Olive is my best friend and I come to you for everything. Mm. and i come to you for all type of support mm. so i think as a person always have different kinds of friends who can support you in different kinds of things mm. so like if cuz if i'm sad and i want to call someone to make me laugh mm. i call cuz mm. and Ma then coffee, maybe please. olive mm. can help me you know with the money the, the or, uh, yeah, uh, you see ni kujie mambo ya pesa tafadhali nimesota na nimesema ni akucheka yeye asante asante manifest man umani ni kujie mambo ya pesa Yeah. Uh, my friend over there will help me with maybe um I need to maybe sort my uh, relationship issues maybe he's a good advisor in relationship. Hey, hey, hey. So I think uh dividing your friends in what you 
in the kind of strengths they have mm. yeah. so that you have a good enough support system so that you may mm. not need therapy. Mm. Also, journaling is good. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, Olive will talk about that, but you can journal. So you don't always need to do therapy. You can always help yourself in small ways. I think yeah. so. I Just to bounce off of that, I think it yeah. all ties down to community. Yeah. It ties down to you having an active community that you're a part of, that you're mm. plugged into. Yeah. Because even if you think about the herd, the people who are, when you're isolated, that's when it gets you, the mm. predator or whatever. That's true. Um, that's true. But also just to talk about therapy, I feel like it also varies from men to women because it's very focused on how do you feel what does that make you feel while for a man when a man claims that they're in a rock like in a difficult place mm -hmm. it usually is because i do not know what to do it's a performance issue more than it is an emotional issue yeah. mm -hmm. so community again solves that because it teaches you when i'm in a community full of men yeah. Um, when I'm hanging out, when we're doing hikes or those two things where we are racing, we are going to Kajiado for no reason and you park your cars and whatnot and talk about nonsense. That thing which people look outside and think, oh, I don't see the point of this. That is how like you get to see this is where I'm underperforming, this is where I'm... Because uh, I feel like it, it would be like a, a different... It would be a tangent to, for us to think about is, is, is therapy... And the feedback I've had from a lot of men who've done therapy is it feels very gynocentric. It feels very focused oh, to the women. And mm. I, I can see it because the, eventually the industry is trying to make money. And the people who would be most susceptible to buying things that are to deal with like unpacking emotions would be yeah. the females. Yeah. And so the men are not going to, to therapy because it feels ineffective, not because I don't want to go. It's because when I get in there, they're going to ask me about my feelings, but no, I, 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 you don't even know how to feel. And I don't even have a problem with feeling. Yeah. Feeling is absolutely great, mm. but uh, um, I want to understand how I can do. do. You want an actual solution. I've come here with a problem. Yes, that could be, there's that, but also like, and that's why I'm like, this is, it's deeper than us mm. just saying, go to therapy or not. Mm. There's, the information is everywhere, mm. but it goes back to communities. Mm. If we are in healthy communities, yeah. I will learn how to perform. Sure. You will sit down with fellow women and you will unpack f feelings and emotions mm. and whatnot. Mm. And I feel like in this age where now we got in front of cameras, we saw an opportunity for therapy and we were not entirely honest about what whatever it is that we were yeah. going through mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. and i think therapy i mean i think only a man can help a man become a better man and only a mm. woman can help a woman become a better woman yes yeah, so while there's shared areas yeah. where where there's the human experience where yeah. and i we can't say oh gee these are logical these are emotional no we are all mm -hmm. logic we are all emotion yeah. but as you've aptly put it, men are in a better position to show you this is how you walk the masculine journey yes. and and the feminine journey is walked this way. Yeah. I feel like that's that source of me saying bit missing because even if I decided to be a therapist, most of my clientele will be female. Mm. Oh. They'll be female. Oh. No, for sure. Who goes to therapy more? It's the women oh. who want mm. to be in I was going to ask, are there male therapists? There yeah. are male therapists. Oh, okay. There are male therapists for sure. And I've 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 seen a few but again, and not motivational. Speaker. Again, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Um, again, I think just due to market demand, because mm -hmm. you know, if you don't exercise a muscle, it withers. Mm -hmm. I doubt very many men walk into their mm -hmm. into, into their chambers. Yeah, yeah so mm -hmm. they've also bought into whatever it is that's going because most of your patients are going to be. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think we, we were finishing it up, but I had right. you, you triggered one more question. Mm -hmm. Um, are there types of therapy? Because I think when people look at me, listen to me. They think I'm very much therapized. I've yes. never been to therapy. You are. But, yeah, no, I've never been to therapy. Right, right. But then I was, it is, it is, I think I was reading somewhere and yeah. that's when I learned there's something called, I think, self-therapy. There's, mm -hmm. there's things you do. And I don't know what that looks like. I also don't want to misguide people because for me it was from, I think, five years ago when I was said, I'm intentionally wanting to be a happier human, yeah. to be a better human. Yeah. And I just went on these journeys I, you watch cars on TikTok, you're yeah. like, okay, I've learned something. Yeah. I see Ivana. Ivana gave me a wellness journal. Let's go. <laughs> the journal has actually, I've gotten into journaling now full time. Mm. I've not bought for this year, but I'm like writing on a notebook mm. and it just like really, really helps. Just mm -hmm. talk. There are days when you just journal, like today I went to work, mm. and then there are days you start writing and you cry. Yeah. Like you just. Mm. 
cry and you sleep yeah. you sleep better that night yeah. and you wake up so there's tools just sometimes if you can't afford to go to therapy i don't think if i i can't afford for me it was more i'm very scared yeah of i'm, I'm scared to unearth the things i think mm. i can unearth yeah, yeah. so i'm just mm. for me i'm still in a space of I'm scared about therapy. Mm. I don't want any diagnoses. Mm. I know there are things I could have a problem with here and there. Yeah. I'm giving you my meds by the way. Generally, I'm not going to be like I was wondering. Sis ki kuzitupa kumbe. Generally, I believe I'm a decent human. So so long as I'm not hurting people around yes. me, I still feel like mm. okay, what an ICD diagnosis. Mm. Diagnosis ya nini anxiety, ADHD, yeah, yeah. yeah. mm. OCD hizo yenye. What do you do with the label? Mm. Yeah, I'm just like it it will add a problem yeah. and I, I still have something else so i'm just wondering are there types of therapy of course we've said community mm-hmm. maybe i'm just trying to see if self therapy is a thing is it oh. is it i think it is man yeah. and community for the win again me i'm a mm. big advocate for community because it helps yeah. because i know i can call ivana um as can a you? friend i can <laughs> but that's a story so that's a story for off yeah. camera yeah Ivana character developed the men at that leadership uh, center. <laughs> you want me to continue? No, I will continue. I will tell them to send money so that <laughs> I don't see it. It's very good to uh, support the podcast um if you don't want me to to say Ivana's secrets. Um anyways, I'd I'd be like um you see like the the toys who used to um like when we were growing up there's people who like the women who were casual laborers like mm-hmm. they'd come to wash or do whatever chores yeah. they would have a child and the child would be swaddled mm-hmm. on the back mm-hmm. that toy would cry until they would just pass out <laughs> so as a toy for such a mother you learn how to self soothe mm-hmm. and that's the thing which i'm just like life throws enough at you Yeah. and you kind of yeah. learn how to self soothe yeah. like yeah, even me now now first of all when they give it a name i just be like eh hey, like, what is it i'm going through today yes. um yeah this is symptom number 16b <laughs> therefore these are healthy options i can need me that's how i navigate i'm just vibing i'm road dogging yeah. life right now i'm not doing those meds <laughs> yeah. but it kind of helps yeah. uh, as you've said there's that one for self and then there's just the way we believed in herd immunity And now I come and tell you, hey, by the way, if you find yourself going through this, try that. Mm. And it like it we community you you come with your little your nini and you tell me no cuz that you're wrong. Mm. From what I read, that's wrong. Mm. It's very different from a person who does not have yeah. community. True, 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 true. Yeah. Mm. And community looks like everything. Mm. Yeah. Like anything cuz I think when you say community it almost feels like it's the people you talk to every day, the people you see. I feel for me community has been you people like I just connect with yes um, even online whoever on the internet yes. I don't even know these people I was just like you I'm seeing you yeah. your chakras look aligned yeah. I see <laughs> Roya Konisa right. yeah. it was love so at first sight you know that's how we, we so, met <laughs> And you talk to people and I'm yeah. so surprised that you actually DM people like yeah. find such amazing people right. and yeah. life goes yeah. on yeah. and you just like share and mm. it's a good time because yeah. the way you also show up in friendship Ivana does not put a therapist hat away. Mm. Whenever it's called to, oh, yeah. she brings it mm. because me I'll bring whatever I bring yeah. or level bring true. this mm. and the, it, it's formidable. Mm. That's why I'm like when we pull it together also because I'm at the point in my life where I can blame everything on everything on capitalism. True. Mimi by the okay but your time I shall yes. invoke It yeah. is capitalism. The capitalism because we are we're into silos and what not and we are supposed to be isolated and just working and working and working mm. where you realize now also because why why do we have so it feels like there's a surgeons of like dumb people is because the parks the places we used to sit down together have been mm. demolished yeah. to make a road space for a road or for another yeah. mall or whatever mm. And that has been replaced with cameras and microphones. True. So I'll come and say whatever dumb thing, which you know this was not supposed to leave. The stoners used to what were bangi walikuwa na kaile place na atuko to take vitu zao what wele walikuwa na kaile place eh mnaongea na inaisha. But nowadays because we we no longer have the space to say and emote and fine tune these ideas, the first idea that comes into your mouth into your mind, you mouth it and yeah. yeah. 
bring back secrets bring back shame usilete uh, <laughs> daktari amesema <laughs> do not <laughs> restore <laughs> shame <laughs> bring back shame we tutakupoteza no there's things you see yeah. like the andrew tates and you're just like bring back shame you know there are oh, things yeah. there are things like i've said everything has a flip side mm. to it like right now we have more microphones we can have such conversations right. where people can be healed right. but then on the other side there is someone very vile who also has a microphone yeah. so we have to deal with both but also because you know we are also in the economy yeah. where the person who says the more grotesque thing is the person who stays because we're also in like a very fast moving low attention span whatever and um yeah. that's one which yeah. brings out yeah and also like just just specifically speaking as a man and i was having this conversation at, at some random hangout where someone was like oh what do you think about americs and whatnot and it was like a whole argument i was like that's a bad argument because i feel like guys like those ones are necessary evils they are a reactionary thing to people saying as a guy who's giving you advice a divorced 45 year old alco- alcoholic who tells mm-hmm. you oh, no women are trash because the people who are in healthy relationships are not talking about it That's true. the people who've emerged are these people who are telling you hey listen yeah. this is my experience and then you look in your life and you're like yeah that auntie of mine behaved like that this girl left me because oh, i don't know why she left me probably because i didn't have money or i was not muscular enough and whatnot and so unless again we stop treating each other seeing each other as how much do you make in the labor market and how much mm. do you spend in the consumer market and we just humanize each other and go through this journey yeah, pole pole yeah. the more divided we are the more people make money because yeah now you're going to be on antidepressants because you're worried the men are not <laughs> thinking and whatever you know but sh- imagine shame people shame people if you just see someone doing bad manners i bisha eh yeah. yeah. anika <laughs> anika kuliko nguo watu lakini wamefurahi kitu nimeona watu wanafanya tu chochote guys are kulanaing to be in an uba most and yeah. Yeah. I, I, i love it i love it i love it for the society we are oh, yeah. jesus is about to come back know, praise the lord for every shift there must be collateral damage, ah, for sure so for sure for sure that's yeah. the stage where we are for sure we are, we are collateral yeah, at this point yeah 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 <laughs> but then that will bring us to the end of our discussion yeah, mental will. wellness yeah health illness yeah. i don't even know but anyway i'll have figured out but thank you so much how thank did you, you find today thank you for having us yeah. uh it was beautiful yeah, yeah. It, it flowed i feel like it was very conversational because you know yeah. also i feel like we've touched on certain things that are still episodes in the future yeah that just have led us all the way mm, over there mm. but uh, yeah i definitely have you back oh, be nice. having those conversations That'll be nice and love thank it because so witchcraft witchcraft yeah. 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 <laughs> thank you so much for coming and for <laughs> your insight you and for sharing i was so scared of having you on because i usually don't know where to draw the line between like your profession like yeah. what question do i ask that right. is information i should pay for yes and <laughs> oh you don't want to exploit oh I beautiful like, oh, maybe i pay for my services yeah i've been thank feeling kind of sad you know i can steal it on, on podcast time i can sneak in like 30 seconds of therapy we leave here like in police let's ask you to mwapa na shimia iban ni tibu ama ni toboe ni tibu ama ni seme <laughs> yes what do you mean he's going to give me his yes meds, you can so we're good <laughs> you can help you oh but that's beautiful i hadn't seen ivana in such a long time yeah have we met ever since the fellowship Um, maybe but once i don't remember when we must have bumped into each other once so when i saw the name i got super excited i didn't want oh. to say it. that's why i didn't respond i was just like love hurts aside, yeah aside, good aside, to see you guys. man oh, it's good to see thank you thank you guys thank, thank you for you having us so much for coming it's always such a pleasure and that brings us to the end of in all honesty podcast we were discussing mental wellness mental you said health, health I thought. Yeah. mental health yeah and until next week my fabulous name is oliver rao bye, bye. Next on the In All Honesty podcast. So next week we'll be discussing church, church trauma. Why did you leave the church? Why did you leave faith? Why did you leave God? Basically, just why did you leave that space? So you could be ex for Muslims it's as ex mosque for church it's for Christians it's ex church. So just basically why did you leave that space? what space are you in are you those people who left church but didn't leave god are you those people who left church completely and looked for a whole new religion to subscribe to are you those people who left completely and now just don't believe in anything 
I would like to know what was the experience for you. As for me, I remember some of the things that were very troublesome for me was the idea of not being able to question. Anything that you questioned was blasphemous and there were no answers given. Church was a place that was very difficult to belong. And when I got to the place where I had autonomy to live, I was just like, let me leave this space. Let me try and explore what faith might look like by myself or just see what else is out there. Because also, if you don't have something to compare to, then what are you leaving and what are you going to? So next week, we'll be talking about our church experiences. Why did you leave church? I hope I'll get ex-church or ex-faith members that we can also just get to have this discussion with. But you know, you can always share with me your experiences and your opinions on basically leaving church, leaving faith, uh, experiences in the church and in faith through my DMs at Olive Orao. And you can also send in your stories through my email at oliveorao at gmail.com. Hey. Do you hear that? Would you lend me some coins, please? The In All Honesty podcast needs you to continue running. I will deeply appreciate support from you. You can send monetary contributions to my Mpesa plus 254-728-171059 via PayPal at Olive Orawo. That is O-L-A-V-E-O-R-A-W-O. You can support the podcast indirectly by buying merchandise and services I offer listed on my WhatsApp catalog. My WhatsApp number is plus 254-728-171059. Did you think I'd forget? Advertise with the In All Honesty podcast. Hit me up to talk about it. You can do that via WhatsApp plus 254-728-171059 or via email oliveorawo at gmail.com or you can also DM me on socials at oliveorawo. You know the hand that gives will receive an episode every week. <laughs> I'm not where I want to be But I'm in what was once a dream So if I do some quick math The future equals a dream come true Since 1992, In All Honesty, a podcast by Olive Orawo.